Hey everyone, this is Amy Astro. I wanted to take you all on a tour of the astronomy park that I like to come to frequently. This is where I'm a member of and I come out here every chance I get when the skies are clear. So let me introduce you to Deer Lick Astronomy Village located in Sharon, Georgia. nice features of Deer Lick is it is a gated community and typically this gate is closed and you need to have a special password to get into here and all that is available to you once you establish a membership to this park. So here I am I am entering what is known as the members field it is Greer Field and I am entering it from the very east side of it. And what I would like you all to take note of is look at this clear view. I mean, have you seen anything that was prettier than this? I mean, it is just incredible the view that you get to see out here. Now, one of the many amenities that Deer Lick has to offer everyone is a bathhouse. There are three restrooms in there that are complete with shower, sink, and a toilet, and one of them even contains a changing station for those of you that have young children. And on the outside of the building is a stand-up shower for those of you that just need a quick dip to cool off. Now, when we have our astronomy parties out here, we have a popular one that's called the Peach State Stargaze. It happens every fall out here, and we will get multiple portable toilets out here. This is as far as the eye can see, so nobody has to walk very far until they find a place to go. Now, out here we have plenty of power for everyone. And when we do have the major events out here, there is more power brought in. Now this field is approximately 11 acres in size. There is room for everyone out here. Isn't this fantastic? Now this is our north view where we can set up and see Polaris. We've got a gorgeous west view and a gorgeous southern view. It all just depends on where you decide to set up. But what's really nice out here is they have built some really nice level, very level concrete pads of various sizes, so you can just pick one based on the scope that you are using. Now there are three up here on top of the hill. Down low there are four, two small ones and two larger ones. But each one of those poles out there contains 120 volt AC power. Now isn't that just awesome? You don't have to depend on batteries out here. Now we also have a really nice pavilion with picnic tables and a gas grill with a gas bottle that is always full. So if you want to cook those hot dogs, hamburgers, or better yet, steaks, you can do that out here without any problem. We also have this really nice little uh, warm-up shed out here. And in this warm-up shed, there is heating and air so you can get in there warm up, cool down, whatever your heart desires. And also included out here in that warm-up shed is a Wi-Fi router. Now the beauty of that router is they have been able to boost the signal so you have a signal all the way down to the end of that power pole. Now granted up here at the first ones it is definitely stronger but you can get a signal all the way out there. Now, I don't recommend trying to use it for your telescope gear, but that moment in the middle of the night when you need to install another driver because something went wrong, I'll tell you what, 
having that Wi-Fi router out here is extremely helpful. Now, if you're worried about this place getting dirty or anything like that, just know that the people that live on the other sides of these trees come up and take care of these facilities daily. And even right now, with the COVID going on, they have supplied Lysol wipes in all the bathrooms, so you can wipe it down as you're ready to use it and wipe it down when you are done, and it is ready for the next individual. They have everything taken care of. Now what we've got along this back property line, which is our north line, is set up for RVs. And they do have a couple different amperages out here. You just need to look up online and it'll tell you which ones are available. Now the really cool part about all of this is you have access to all of this for a very low annual membership fee. Now last time I checked, the membership fee was about $35 per year, which, I mean, come on guys, power, bathroom, concrete pads, heating and air so you don't suffer out here in the heat. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. And as an individual, if you want to come out here and go camping, they do ask that you give them $5 each time you pitch a tent out here. Or, if you use one of these RV connections, they ask for about $15 per night, which still is way better and cheaper than the local Holiday Inn. Now right here is where we have our nice little memorial, and it tells us which way Polaris is now, if you were ever in doubt and didn't know where it was. And we remember those who are no longer with us who used to live out here and had a great deal to do with how this place came to be. Now Deer Lick Astronomy Village was the visionary vision of several people who wanted to introduce dark skies and light pollution awareness and have a dark sky community available for everyone. It is extremely important in today's growth as we move on with our future that we remember that light pollution is not the best thing if you want to be a stargazer. So here we go, 11 acres in all its glory, nice long sight view of the south. Here is the east, I'll rotate around, we've got the north, and back to the west. This is just a gorgeous piece of property out here. And this is all open with an annual membership to anyone that wants to be out here. Now it is early in the afternoon. It is a new moon weekend and I anticipate that this place is gonna get busy within the next hour or two as people come up here and set up their tents. All right, so let's give ourselves a quick peek inside of one of these bathrooms to get you an idea. All right, there we go guys. Shower, toilet, everything nice where it needs to be, the Lysol wipes I was telling about, and changing station for the young ones. Now for those of you that are wondering, well gee, what do I do during the day? I'm out here in the middle of nowhere and I am bored. Well, this place has that covered for you. There is a nature trail running the perimeter of this property. And as you're about to see, this property is huge. It is not just the 11 acres that you see right here, right now. There is more acreage beyond those southern tree, and that's where all the owners live. Now the owners have houses, trailers, RVs, wherever they choose to actually live, which I'm gonna have to say their observatories are much nicer than their houses. So we clearly know where every astronomer's uh, priorities are, but around this whole property, it's a hiking trail, all in the shade. There's all kinds of wildlife out here. I see deer frequently. There is just about everyone, everything. There's even a whippoorwill that you will almost guarantee to hear every night you are out here camping. He talks to us literally all night long. Guys, so here we are on the owner's section of the property. And if you look around here, just about everyone here has their own telescope uh, observatory along with a house 
And this place is just beautiful. You know, you look at this, you have little community gatherings set up for, uh, for viewing. I mean, just look at all of this place. And look, this is our southern view. So those of you that want to get um, Centauri, this is the place to come. And now we're going to go ahead and look back north. This is their northern view. And on the other side of those trees that you see here is back where the members field is, where we were just at. Now there are still a few lots available to purchase. You can look this up on their website, which is deerlickgroup.com. Um, they've got some properties that already have observatories and houses on here that are available for sale, some empty lots, so you can build whatever you like that's available. And up here in this northern corner, there are even leased lots where you can put just a little mini remote observatory if you like, and you can lease it month to month. They have really thought of everything out here. So that's my tour of Deer Lake Astronomy Village, located in the quaint town of Sharon, Georgia. It has some of the darkest skies all around. It is conveniently located off of Interstate 20 between Atlanta and Augusta, Georgia. Many people come here from all over the United States. We have an annual party out here that's called the Peach State Stargaze. So please check it out. It happens in about October of every year and we're looking forward to having one this year also. So if you guys like this type of video, please let me know below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to this channel. Hit the alert bell so you know when I upload new astro related material. Leave me comments. Let me know what you would like to see in the future. And as always, you can also follow me over there on Facebook as Amy Astro or check out my brand new website, which is amyastro.com. I am adding to it every week. There's a blog section where I let you know what I'm doing in the astro world, along with I'm trying to increase the information we've got on the technical side. And I also have a section there for the gear that I'm using with some convenient links for you so you can do some additional research and see if it's something that works for you. So, how about this new shirt? You guys like it? I'm definitely digging it. I think I'm gonna have to get a few more of these made. So thank you again, Steve, for the shirt, and thank your sister for making it. I really appreciate it. Um, love having my own gear. It's just really awesome. Until next week, guys, this is Amy Astro. I am signing off. I'm wishing you all some very clear skies, some wonderful, great health, and, I will see y'all next week. Until then, I love all y'all. Goodbye.